Suede Auto Fiction album review. Let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat about this latest album from Suede, aka the London Suede. These guys are a UK-based Britpop act. I'm also in the years of dabbled in glam rock and indie rock and all sorts of other genres those that kind of coincide along those lines. And they are a band that I would consider one of my favorite bands of all time. In high school, I heard their self-titled debut and Dogman Star, and honestly, I can't even talk much about these albums because I'll probably get a little emotional. They are equal parts visceral and gutsy, but also absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. And their follow-up to their two albums that really made them take off coming up, I don't think it gets enough credit. I think that maybe it's not as consistent as their first two albums, but it's still just another really great album. There's, you know, so much great material on there. I mean, Beautiful Ones is on there. But the thing is that I've always enjoyed about Suede, while a lot of their contemporaries like Blur and Oasis and Pulp, uh, you know, after a while, you know, either A, broke up or B, started winding things down and going down a path that I didn't like, Suede have always sort of stayed consistent. While a little fuzzy and definitely a little bit more heady than I usually like. I still think head music has a lot of great stuff on there. And a New Morning and Blood Sports are just two more very consistent albums with big hooks, huge choruses, great songwriting, electrifying performances. Even their last two albums, Night's Thoughts and The Blue Hour, these are albums that I almost didn't review for this blog because I just, you know, I wasn't as into Suede at the time and just, you know, kind of wrote them off as late career albums from Suede. Honestly, these albums don't get enough credit. They're also pretty good. They're actually really, really solid. Consistency has always been a thing for Sway that I've always appreciated from them, which leads me to this new album, Auto Fiction, which honestly, I've been very excited to hear because a lot of the singles leading up to this were very solid. Let's chat about this thing. This album starts off with She Still Leads Me On, and what a freaking intro this is. I mean, Suede, particularly uh, Brett Anderson, have always been ones for big, huge, emotional hooks, uh, powerful chords. But holy hell, they do not waste a single moment breaking out a gigantic track. It is this incredibly nostalgic, not only for them, but for me, too. Uh, it's a tearjerker. You also get this really upbeat, determined instrumental and some really stellar production. This is a fantastic intro. Then we have Personality Disorder. Um, you know, leading up to this album, a lot of people were saying, including Suede themselves, this was their sort of punk album. And honestly, uh, it doesn't get any more punk than this track. I wish this track was a single. This is easily one of the biggest standouts here, um, and I think it's my favorite one, single or otherwise. My god, Brett Anderson, you god. The, the commanding verses, this gigantic hook which has this sort of call and return aspect to it, it is so good. We get another fantastic riff, some really great production. Like I said before, consistency has always been a great part of Suede's music, but even I wasn't expecting this much of it. Like, listening to this track, I genuinely feel like I'm back in high school rediscovering the band for the first time. 15 Again is another very nostalgic throwback tune, and because of just how over the top and emotional so many tracks on here are, uh, they end up tugging at my heartstrings most of the time. I love the twinkling riff that we get here, the nods to glam rock is something that you've always expected. My god, this track is so good. Then we have The Only Way I Could Love You. There is so much drama to this track. I love how this one's a little bit more lavish and not as hard hitting. This brings out the artsier side of Suede's music, which has always been a component but this chorus, it just goes right back to its roots, tugs at all the right heartstrings. It is awesome. And then we get the boy on the stage. Talk about swagger. Check this track out. This is the closest thing to a flex you're going to get from Suede, and it is good. It is one of the most passionate and flamboyant and swagger-fueled and over-the-top tracks here, and I mean that all in the best way. Consistency. There aren't too many big knocks to this album. I mean, I'm not that crazy about Black Ice. I mean, compared to some of the other tracks on this album, this one's a little bit more stiff. And that's all around the instrumental. Even the vocals are a little bit more, I don't know, cut and dry. It just comes off surprisingly awkward, especially compared to just how well they carry themselves for the rest of this album. And I think What Am I Without You is the worst track here. This has been just such a glamorous, huge-sounding album fueled by heartfelt performances. Then I hear this. 
and I just have to shrug. I mean, this, this album has its fair share of slow burners, some really drama-fueled, emotional tunes, but then I just hear this, and it's so run-of-the-mill. We also get Brett Anderson's most lukewarm performance on this entire album, and that's something that I rarely say about the guy. Did I mention it's over six minutes? Outside of that, though, I was expecting a very good album, but what we have here is absolute gold. Uh, Drive Myself Home is really great, too. This one is much more of a ballad, which did have me a little worried from the distance. I don't really know why, though. This track is absolutely gorgeous. The strings, the tender performance, the booming vocals that work them way in. My god, just like, how is this so good? How is this done so right? And by this point, I did need a little bit of a sharp, sort of hard rock hitting tune, and that's exactly what we get with Shadow Self. I love just how sonic this riff comes off. I needed a track with a little oomph, and that's what we get here. And there's a strange urgency to this track that's really great, too. Like, I've always thought of Brett Anderson as one of my favorite frontmen in any genre of rock music, but he continues to find new reasons for that. There's also so much to like about it's always the quiet ones, the pounding drums, the sense of danger that we get here, the one once again, sheer drama to this track. Did I mention we get some synths on this track and they sound fantastic. It is just a glorious track that I actually, you know, can't help but get choked up a little bit listening to. And I can't think of a better way to end this album than with Turn Off Your Brain and Yell. As a finale, this one has some serious grit to it that I wasn't expecting. It's got some oomph, it's got some bite to it, but with all the pageantry that we've gotten on so many other tracks here. Between the soaring vocals and the power chords, this is exactly how you do a late album career finale from Suede. Going into this album, you know, hearing the singles, you know, and knowing just how consistent they've been over the years, you know, I'm not too shocked that uh, they put out a great release. I'm just shocked that they put out such a golden release. This is one of their best albums, like, in a really long time. It's got the pageantry and, you know, the beautifulness of their early stuff, but it's also got some grit to it. It's got the nods to glam rock. The vocals are fantastic throughout this whole thing. The production's really good. I can't think of a lot of knocks on this album. I think it is just really fantastic album all around. I have no problem at all giving this album a very strong eight, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.